Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? Spirits, angels, friends. Messages for Aries, please, in regards to love. So let's look at what's going on in your connection. What's the energy surrounding the connection that Aries is in at this time, sir? This reading will be best for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Sorry for Aries. What's the energy surrounding Aries in love? Judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. There could be a legal situation as well. Okay. What's the energy surrounding this connection? Reach out, contact, exchange, touch. Take the initiative to reach out. So someone could be making a decision here to, to communicate with you, to reach out. Um, this is kind of, um, I don't know, I'm thinking of someone that's not really in communication. Because now you're reaching out, extending a hand, uh, sending a text. Bottom of the deck, I have sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. So someone could be having a realization about what they want to do in terms of this connection. All right, so let's get into this reading. So I have two decks here. I'm going to use one deck for you, one deck for your person. I'll have you on this side, Aries, and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. For Aries, please, Aries, tell me more about Aries when it comes to love spirit. Messages for Aries, please. Ooh, we got the Six of Cups. First card out. Seven of Cups, reverse. What else for Aries? What is Aries thinking or feeling about this person or this connection? What are their energies? I'm thinking there's a past here. Seven of Swords reverse. This could be regarding a soulmate energy, but I feel like this is someone you've known. For a while, there's memories, there's a connection here that has already existed. With the Seven of Swords Reverse, you probably found something out or um, saw someone clearly. Maybe someone was deceiving you or being shady or, or something like that, and they got caught. Seven of Cups Reverse. I feel like, hmm, I have to see when I clarify because I am going to clarify all of these, but Seven of Cups Reverse could also be a card about, um, typically it's a card about making a choice, right? Out of many options, you made a decision. Um, but it can also mean that you already ch chose some, uh, one of the options and it wasn't the right one because, you know, Seven of uh, Cups can be a card about illusion, something that might be too good to be true. Tell me more about Aries. Tell me more about Aries and the energy they're bringing to this connection. Octopus, so there's entanglements. The octopus is very um, intelligent, but they tend to um, emotionally at least get tangled up. Um, there could be attachments here, unhealthy attachments. Um, it's, this is reminding me a lot of the Seven of Cups. It could be that um, 
you've realized something about a certain person that you are in a connection with or, or that you've been thinking about. Maybe there's an attachment there. Okay, let's see. Let's look at your person. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? March. 2021 for Aries. I think you know feeling when it comes to Aries or this connection spirit. The energies. Remember that you can flip this if it resonates more for you. Four of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. Queen of Wands. Interesting. With the Four of Pentacles reverse and the Nine of Wands reverse, I felt like there was a connection here. Um, it's like this is an energy of someone that um, hasn't been able to let go of something, um, hasn't given up on something completely, even though it's been difficult or even though maybe they should. Queen of Wands. There's attraction. There is a desire here with the queen of wands a boldness that's the energy for this person that Aries is in life and then we'll jump into clarifying i feel very um like dizzy right now i'm picking up like um like, I don't feel very, um, when it, I, I started feeling this when I started doing this reading. I don't feel very centered. I feel like I could fall over. <laughs> um, you know, it's the, like this octopus, like there's like, um, a lot going on and there's no focus. Okay. We got the buffalo for your person. Your person knows there's challenges ahead, um, but they're very steadfast. Uh, this is someone who just plods along and stays the course, even if it might be difficult. Similar to this Nine of Wands. You know, I feel like this person is very different to you. Okay, let's clarify. Like your polar opposites or... Something like that. These are two very different energies. So let's clarify. Let's get some more information here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Something could have happened really quickly. Maybe that's why I'm feeling like kind of dizzy like something passed me by very quickly you know like in the cartoons and you kind of like start moving <laughs> tell me about the six of cups okay that is way too much too many cards but i'll show you ace of wands reverse emperor reverse or you are aries sun reverse knight uh king of pentacles reverse okay um interesting i got two cards here emperor and king of pentacles for me they tend to already be in a long-term commitment or their parents um I feel like something didn't work out in the past. Something didn't really get started. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Three of Swords. Yes, yeah, something was difficult here. Painful. The world reversed and you didn't get closure. This isn't a chapter that has been completely closed here. This is a chapter that might need to be closed, but it's not. Get one more for the Six of Cups. Yep, King of Cups reverse. 
have eight of wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's been a lot of heartbreak here. I'm speaking to, to an Aries who has a difficult past when it comes to either this connection or just love in general. There's the devil. Yeah, there's been an unhealthy entanglement here. Uh, possibly with a Capricorn, does not have to be, but with the Eight of Swords reverse, I feel like um, there was a break, a breaking free of that, or someone possibly is, you know, currently working on this. This didn't work because there was some sort of unhealthy attachment here. Is what I'm getting. Someone had to break free of this. Um, this could be you breaking free of this. This could be your person breaking free of this in regards to your connection. Or it could be something on, you know, the outside that is unhealthy and is affecting your connection. Tell me about this Seven of Cups reverse. There's that Emperor reverse. Um, this is someone that's powerless, um, unable to regain control over a situation. This is someone that is a bit controlling um, because they're not able, it's almost like out of desperation. Nine of Swords, yes, there's a worry here, stress, anxiety. Five of Cups, reverse. Something happened in the past here. I feel like you've been trying to get out of it or maybe not let it affect you. Um, Maybe this is someone that wants to regain something that they've lost from the past and they're worried they're not going to be able to make it happen. But, you know, I feel like... Okay. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like this is something that hasn't happened. You know, if this is someone that wants to bring an opportunity or, or take advantage of an opportunity or bring you some sort of offer if this is someone that's trying to um, become more financially stable there's delays there that that hasn't happened and um, I'm, I'm picking up like um okay so with the lovers reverse gemini energy there was the wrong choice was made here there could have been a breakup but it was due to a choice you know the partner the, the chosen partner was not the right one or someone chose something uh, because they were ignoring either their own judgment, logic, or reason. Um, I feel like someone made the wrong choice here and it led to something that hasn't happened. Okay, so the moon reverse, Pisces energy. I don't know why I'm picking up from the top of the deck, but I'm, I, I feel the need to. Um, and it's making sense. This is all connected. The moon reverse, seven of swords reverse, something here was seen very clearly. Something that was hidden came to the surface. A secret is revealed. Um, something here has been, uh, I don't know, it's almost like there's been a sudden, a sudden realization about someone or something here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Okay, we have Justice, Libra Energy, and the Four of Cups reverse. Someone has had a change of heart here Justice, okay, so basically whatever has been found out, uh, it was just, it, it was, it, I feel like it was meant to happen. I feel like um, justice was here to fix something. This could be a legal situation because I feel like I'm getting that for some of you. Two of Pentacles reverse, what's this about? Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Cups reverse. Mm. Again, I feel like a choice led to heartbreak, disappointment, maybe even a broken family unit. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Two of Swords reverse. <laughs> this is all about choices. Have judgment reverse. Again, you know, I just keep getting that message that someone, maybe their judgment was blocked when it came to a certain decision because the decision was the wrong one. It led to heartbreak. It led to um, disappointment. But someone knows. Someone knows that that was the wrong choice.
this again i feel like this could it's different for all of you i mean some of you this could be you you know you've made the wrong choice in the past um others of you this is your person you know it just led to something unhealthy something toxic something that was more of a a drain on a person then you know and even here i'm seeing those flames are reminding me of the octopus here the tentacles so let's see what about your person do they have something to do with this what's going on let's clarify tell me about this person spirit can you give me some clarity why is the four of pentacles reversed Knight of Pentacles reverse. You have the Knight of Pentacles twice. Um, the Lovers. And we have the Lovers again. Gemini energy here. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that... Um, can you get one more for the Four Pentacles reverse? The Lovers is a card about union, but it's also mainly a card about a decision between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you. Ace of Cups reverse. Interesting. So I just heard logic. So basically, this decision, I feel, someone is making a logical decision. They're not listening to their heart or they're ignoring their emotions. Why the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Just like obstacles here. Yeah, Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's obstacles here. This has not been successful. This hasn't officially happened. Have the Three of Cups reverse and then have the Ace of Wands reverse. And then the Tower after that. So yes, I feel like there's some sort of interference here. A delay, a block, an obstacle. Why is the lovers here? The higher font reverse source energy, a uh, broken commitment here, or just rebelling, rebelling against what's expected. King of Wands. Yes, this is someone that's going after what they truly want. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. This could be someone um, communicating their emotions. Um, but notice how there's the Knight of Cups is upright, but the Knight of Pentacles is reversed, and I have the Three of Wands. So it's almost like uh, you can ha you have emotion. Emotion is communicated, but a commitment is not able to um, follow. Like there's no follow through on the commitment side, and there might be a waiting period because of all the other obstacles here. I feel like someone's going to be upset or heartbroken at a certain decision that your person makes here. I don't know if this is you or someone else, but I feel like there is an interference here. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? King of Cups reverse. Did we get the King of Cups twice? Yeah. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Three of Cups reverse. There's something here, something in the way. It could be another person, it could be long distance, it could be finances, it could be fear. Oh, and we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like um, someone has been through a lot here with the Nine of Wands reverse. There might be trust issues, um, or it's just a lot of a lot of emotional baggage here. Um, I feel like someone wants to like restore balance give you something tell me more about the six of pentacles what about the six of pentacles please five of cups so oh wow the ten of pentacles what's this the magician reverse and the page of wands 
Yeah, I feel like there's like there's like a need or or a desire to communicate to start something, but they're unable to. Um, I feel like they want to give you something long term uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, or perhaps um, I don't know because I have the Five of Cups here. So there's like disappointment, regret, 